way. Hey, Una. Hi, Paige. Well, Senator John Bozeman's challengers, Frank Gilbert and Connor Eldridge, finally got the debate that they have been calling for for months. But they say it's not enough today. They're planning more because they want more. It's not a disrespect to Connor or me for him not to come to those debates. But as a voter in Arkansas, as one of his constituents, I think I may be a little dissed. And we'll have a podium available for Senator Bozeman, and we, we, we hope that he shows up. But I'm glad he showed up today. Um, you know, this debate show what this race is about. Uh, Senator Bozeman has been there in Washington for 15 years. He's a nice man, but during that time, he hadn't done a whole lot. But incumbent Senator John Bozeman says one is enough and wants to set the record straight. My opponent, you know, keeps saying that I don't do anything. Uh, I've answered 500,000 pieces of mail. Okay. Uh, we've had 19,000 people approach our office with problems. I've had 740 unique in county visits. I've been to all, the last six and a half years, I've been to all of the counties. The Senate debate that is going to air tonight. This candidates also talked about the economy and education and also uh, other topics. But I also had the opportunity to ask all three candidates about the turmoil in the Middle East right now and what the U.S. role in Syria should be. Hear their answer coming up on the news at 6. For now, we're live in Conway, Una Lee, 4029 News.